So you want to automate some of the processes on your browser. Thankfully, there's Hexomatic, an automation app that's not over complex. Now, what it does is that it automates some of the scraping work for you and it converts that data into several things that you might need for your workflow. Now, these guys are the same creators as Hexometer and Hexowatch, really great applications that are working great and now they bring Hexomatic. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to get around and what can be possible with Hexomatic so you understand that if this is a great deal for you, well, you can go ahead and grab it once you watch this video. So if you're looking for this deal, that link will be in the description. So let's head on over to my desktop and show you Hexomatic right now. All right, this is the Hexomatic dashboard. And what I want to do in this video is to show you what's possible with Hexomatic. So the first place that we're gonna get started is automations. This is a list of automations that you can do with Hexomatic. So here, you can check these out and find out what you can do with the data that you grab on Hexomatic. So the idea is to put a website where you need information and you need to do it on a daily basis or every hour or just however you want to automate it and scrape that data and convert it into other things or send it to other places. That's what Hexomatic is going to do. So that means that you don't have to manually go browse a certain page every hour, every minute, every other day or every week. You could do it automatically with Hexomatic and then use that data to do a whole lot of things with it. So it might seem a little bit over complex, but once you view the automation section, you're going to know that you can do a whole lot of things with them. For example, AI text to speech. So we can turn the text that we scrape from a description on Amazon or any other page that you want, and it's going to convert it into speech. And it's going to send us a file that we can actually play it and we can hear it. You can upload it somewhere else if you like or send it to someone if that's what you need to do. You can do, for example, let's see, AI lower detection, AI image safety, email address validation, which are pretty simple ones. Data input, that's for something else. Currency converter, in case you are working with um, other type of currencies like dollars, wongs, um, whatever you want to use it for, um, bitcoins and all of that. Email scraper, file compressor, extract links from a page, find and replace, extract domains from a URL, um, use Google Maps, get page content, Google search, send it to Google Sheets, Google Sheets import if you want to bring it. Google Translate, Keyword Finder, Image Converter. Let me show you another one. There's a whole bunch of these. SEO Meta Tags Extractor, Screenshot Capture. So if you need a certain screenshot of a page that you need to scrape every single time, it's gonna do it for you. Sitemap Extractor, use Slack to send notifications, Social Link Scraper, and I'm just going through these quickly. Webhooks, which basically you can send this data to anywhere you want. Use Zapier, Pavly, Integrally, Integromat, and just send it with webhooks. XML Sitemite Generator, and enough of that. Now, you're going to view some of these that actually are premium. Let me see if they are mentioned. They say new, but no. Where are these? Here we go. These are one of the premium ones. For example, when you extract data and you need a certain human to actually analyze the data that you are scraping and you don't want to do it by yourself or, or you, you can use one of their human notifications so they can answer a yes or no depending on the data that you grab and the question that you're asking. What does that mean? Well, let's just say that, hey, what's the image of that person's shirt blue? And you're going to need a human for that because you can't scrape that and you can't, you can't grab that information. So a human is going to look at it and it's going to say yes or no. And you're going to receive that data. So for a little bit more of complex type of data that you need that can't be done through Hexamatic, you can use a human to uh, respond to that information. Now, these use premium credits, okay, just so you understand those. Some of these will use premium credits and some of these won't. Most of them don't use premium credits, just so you understand. There's human power data collection also. And these are kind of, you'd have to ask uh, support how these actually work. Because for example, it's crowdsource automations, credits one, premium credits five, okay? And these will depend on the task that you need to actually do, all right? So like I mentioned before, a lot of things that you can do with this data, transform it, convert it, create it, take screenshots, um, transform takes, and then use that data for something else. So all of that is possible. Now, 
How do we use this? Well, I would suggest get started with scraping. So for example, if I want to scrape something, I will go into a new scrape. And what we're going to do is paste the URL from what we want to scrape. In this case, I just grab a page from Newegg, which is an electronic store where I might want to grab information. So I'll choose full stack and proxy mode, data center, residential and residential GEO. I'll keep it at data center. If you are getting um, errors on this, you can use the other proxy modes, but I think some of them cost premium credits. So I'll leave that info on the description. So what it's going to do is it's reading this and it wants us to add an action. So in this case, we'll use residential GEO. We'll choose country. And let's try it again. Let's wait for that to load. Like I mentioned before, these are some of the reasons you might want to use the proxy mode. So this is a great example that we just encountered right now. All right, there we go. You see now it just loaded because we're using the proxy mode. And now we can select elements that we might need on this page. Now, the idea is to, for example, select these. I can add, click on it, for example, on the image, and I can select single, select all, paginate, paginate, advance, type, click, scroll, delay, cookies, local storage, refresh, and block elements. So, for example, if I need to scroll something so I can grab a screenshot, I can do that with Hexomatic. If I need to delay just in case it takes longer to load, or a pop up loads after 10 seconds, for example, well, we'll delay 10 seconds and then we'll click on remove the pop up and continue with the other workflow, all right? So, in this case, I'll just select single because I don't want the workflow to take a long time. So, I'll just select one single one, all right? So, in this case, we selected the image. In this case, we'll say image and we can say this will be the source URL. Let's click OK. And it grabbed the image for us. So let's save it and it's gonna grab that image every single time. If I select it multiple, it's going to grab all of these. All right. And it's going to do it every single time that I use the workflow. Again, another action would be, for example, if I want to grab this title again, I'll use single select just for demo purposes, because I don't want the workflow to take a long time so I can show you the output. Okay. So in this case, it's it's title. All right. And the element for this is text, all right? Let's click. Okay. And yes, it grabbed the text. And we can grab more elements like the price. We can go in depth into this uh, products and grab more information. And there's a lot of things that we can do this. This is just the, how would you say the wireframe to tell it what it's going to do every single time that the workflow is going to run. All right. So I'm telling it every single time it's going to grab this image and this title every single time. I can do other things with it and it's going to do everything every time the same thing. So I don't have to do it manually or I don't have to do it every single time by myself. It's going to do it automatically. Okay. We're going to select this one single select and we're going to grab the scroll up right here. We go link URL. Okay. And we'll just name this source. Save it. Let's go ahead and save this. So now we have that data. Let's go back into our workflow. Again, new one, scraping, use existing, select the one we've just created right now, which is this one right here and the automation. So we're going to do the text, oops, text to speech. Again, select the source. This one is a title, mail, English, UK, random boys. We're good to go. We're going to grab the SEO. For this SEO meta tags, and this will be the source and we'll just select everything and we're good to go. Let's continue. And now we have these options so we can just run it now. And that, and that's just one single time. And it's going to, it's not going to run any, any other time again, and we can schedule the start in time, which is the good one where this is just going to automate every single time based on what you set right here. So we can set it to this time, Sunday, November 7th, and it's going to start off at that time, our time zone, and it's going to run manually. Again, that's just one time daily. So every single day at the time that we've selected weekly, annually, and every weekday, just in case the data only updates Monday through Friday. Well, you only run it Monday through Friday instead of daily. We'll say daily, and we want an email once the workflow is done every single time. 
So now it's going to start. And since it's just, we just selected one single source, it shouldn't take long. So let's give it a few seconds and wait for the results. There we go. The data is done. So let's go ahead and click on download. Download CSV. So save it. You can also download by Google and grab that information. Let's go ahead and open it. And this will have the data that we need. So for example, we have the image. So if this was a workflow where we need the image, well, we got that there. We got the title. We have the source link. We have the file that it converted into audio. So let's go ahead and download that. Again, if we want to send this file somewhere else, that's possible. Let's go ahead and open it. Intel i7-11700F11s Abs Master Gaming PC Intel i 7 700F GeForce RTX 3060 T16GB DDR4 3000MHz to 1TB M2 NVMe SSD Okay, you saw that, how I converted that text into an audio file. Now you can do that for an even longer content if you like, or do it for every single one of these um, titles if you like, but that workflow can run automatically without having for you to do it every single time. That's what Hexomatic is going to do. It's gonna grab all that data for you once you set it up, and you can run it by schedule to do it every single time and send you that information automatically. That's the beauty about Hexomatic. Now, one of the good things I like about Hexomatic is that it might seem complex at the beginning, but once you get used to it, it becomes easy. And what I like about their support is that if you get stuck on something, they'll actually make a video of how to set up the workflow so you can do it for yourself. And that way you actually learn how to do it for you. So I like that they do that instead of just sending an explanation where you just don't understand it. Well, having a video to follow makes everything much more easier. So that way supports does the job. Well, that is Hexomatic. If you guys want to grab that deal, the link will be in the description. And like I mentioned before, that link is an affiliate link. So if you buy through that link, it helps me out to grab deals, make videos for you guys and help you out if that's a good decision for you to grab or not. Well, I'll see you guys later.